Thank you very much. Sorry, please. You were accused of also, you know, committing fraud by somewhere. You were giving similar accusations. How do you tend to defend yourself for that? That I was committing fraud. Yes. Yeah. Okay, maybe we, we need to go to details in that respect. Now, what Shower Ramoyele specifically was saying was that an as parent, a candidate of the political party, paid money into the account of the party, paid money 200,000 naira, 200,000 naira, into the account of the party. And you all understand clearly what happens when you are doing a network, what you call, uh, uh, when you are having issues around network uh, transfer of money. That money was re re that money was sent back to the account of the party. It is there in GTB account. As I speak with you, as, as I speak with you today, uh, Shower has been unable to come for us to go and get a GTB account for us to account for that money. Amoyele Shower over the months has been called upon to release all the account details amounting to over 158 million naira for him to come account to the party. He has not done that. Instead, he runs from one particular place to the other as a political tourist. So I want to ask Nigerians, somebody that has stayed in Radisson Blue, Radisson Blue Hotel, Radisson Blue Hotel a day, a day per night cost about 261, 270,000 naira, and he stayed there for one year, where was he getting the money from? Calculate 260 or 270,000 naira per one day. How much, where was he getting that money from? How can you be flying from one continent of the country to the other? Nigerians donated money across the whole globe. That money was not accounted for. And when you ask him to come and account for this money, he started accusing you and started asking all kinds of questions. The party is not happy with him. He has shown very clearly that what he preaches is he does not do it. And let me tell Nigerians one important thing. On the, on the, 8th, on, on the 6th of October, on the 6th of October, to, on the 6th of October uh, to, uh, 2018, the party went to Lagos for us to have our national convention. I was a student union leader in this country. I was involved in pro-democracy in this country. I've been around for a very long time. Omar Yoshele was my colleague. We all fought the June 12th to a standstill. We all fought the military to a standstill. But do you know what happened? I was contesting for that election as the chairman of the party. Omar Yoshele himself was contesting as the presidential candidate. He became the presidential candidate of the party aborted the process of having a convention in the Lagos and he became the national chairman of the party, became the presidential candidate of the party. At the same time, this is somebody who will tell you at the same time he's criticizing Buhari, he's criticizing this person, and criticizing the person for a little opportunity for him to allow democracy, internal democracy to happen. He was unable to do that. And all they did was to begin to chase people left and right and you tell me this could be the leader of this country. And not only that, he was acting in various capacities. He was the spokesman of the party, he was much more like the treasurer of the party, he was uh, virtually everything in the party, everything was run in one hotel room in Lagos and New York. You cannot say very clearly, you cannot be an absentee chairman of a political party in Nigeria. You cannot run a political party from New York. You cannot run a political party from, from US. You can't, it's, it's, it's undoable. And today, Nigerians have taken their stand, ASM have taken their stand, that this party belongs to them. Irrespective of what they have said, all is blackmail. All is targeted to see how they can make us weak. But it will not work. So I commend the court and I thank everybody for coming here. The party will still strong and nothing will happen. Just like he stated, uh, Dr. Leoland, as you can see, the face of evils. This is a, a chapel himself, uh, Dr. Malcolm, uh, Dr. and Eleke. These are the evils. These are the people that destroy AAC. Greed, 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 greed. As you can see, Thanks to Mega Comrade, and God bless Mega Comrade. I said this before. A lot of people said, no, it's not true. Now you have heard it. Shogurena is nowhere in AAC. He's gone. Suspended. No more national chairman. You see? Look, look at what greed I've taken you people to. Greed of money. Greed of money. Huh? God bless Mega Comrade. You can write any losses you want to write. You see it now. Court have spoken. Allah. A chapel.